Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I see dancing. I see beautiful people. I see fabulous fashions. That must mean it's 202 Creates Month. Hello, everyone. I'm Furman Patterson, host of the 202 and 202 Extra on DCN. And that is produced by the Office of Cable Television, Film, Music, and Entertainment. But you know, y'all think that this has started already, but it hasn't officially started until it's officially started. I want to introduce you to Miss Angie Gates, who's the director. Oh, she's not, okay. Hold on just, hold on just a bit. Um, I guess you know about 202 Creates Month, right? You know that that's when the city celebrates all the creatives in the city. We're talking music, we're talking artists, we're talking fashion design, stylists. DC is a creative industry in itself. And we do our best to try to celebrate that all month long in September. So from tonight until the end of September, there are events all over the city. Of course, everybody will be telling you about that all night long, but I just want to let you know that this is the kickoff for that event. Uh, if you haven't checked out DCN, which is one of the channels that's produced by the DC office of cable television, film, music, entertainment, you just ought to. We've got music. We, we celebrate all the artists on that show. We've got entertainment, music, sports. We've got everything. And plus, we cover everything that the mayor does throughout the city as she's bringing information about the services and the agencies to the District of Columbia. So as I said before, uh, Ms. Angie Gates is director of the DC Office of Cable Television, Film, Music, and Entertainment, and she will start this thing off by introducing the mayor. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ms. Angie Gates. having a good time? Yeah. All right. So I want to officially welcome you to the 2019 202 Creates Month. This is all about the creatives. We have musicians, fashion designers, creatives, spoken word, filmmakers. Whatever you do, we're doing it in the 202, right? Is that what's up? So this is just the kickoff tonight. We have the next 30 plus days of things to do, but we could not do this without the support of our supporting agency. So I want to give a big shout out to Deputy Mayor John Falchicchio and the DEMPAD team. The Commission on Arts and Humanities have been supporting. They have a big coming up, a big event coming up for Labor Day weekend. And in addition to that, oh no, you gotta, you gotta quiet down a little bit, because I gotta give a big shout out to the Office of Cable Television, Film, Music, and Entertainment. I'm convinced I work with the best team in the game. You heard me? All right. I saw Deputy Mayor Kenner in here. I wanna give him a shout out. Council Member Todd, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it, but please stay connected to us. We have September 14th, Art All Night in Eight Neighborhoods. September 19th, DC Radio. And we're going to kick it off at the end in beautiful Anacostia with some festivities. So I expect to see you all there at the end. But none of this, none of this would be possible if it was not for our fearless leader. Now, we got a woman rocking it here in the nation's capital, right? And, and, and she looking fly doing it, right? On day one, Mayor Bowser said, I want to create a pathway to the middle class. And that's what she's done. But then she said, not only that, I want to do a creative pathway to the middle class and launch 202 Creates. She's done this for you, more jobs, more opportunity. And so our light can shine nationally. That's what's up. So let's give a warm welcome to DC's first female two-term mayor, Muriel Bowser. Good evening, everybody. Let's give a big shout out to Angie Gates in the Office of Cable Television, Music and Entertainment. 
one of the, the smartest things that I did uh, early on was combine two agencies, hire a great director, and get behind a creative vision for our city. And I couldn't be more proud of what 202 Creates has become. Angie said it all. In DC, we recognize, love, and cherish our artists and creatives. And we rely on you to tell the world that you can create in DC, live in DC, work in DC, hire people in DC, and make money in DC. Are you with me? And so that is why we're focused every single day at how we can nourish the arts, the culture, and all creatives in our city and develop our creative economy. So for 202 Creates, you have one full month that we focus on everything that you are doing across all eight wards of Washington, D.C., and that is hugely important. I, too, want to thank Council Member Brandon Todd, our entire team at DEMPED, but most of all, I want to thank you and everybody who is working with you to get your work out there to the world. We are a world-class city and world-class city celebrate the arts and culture and the creatives. Just imagine if we lived our lives in black and white. What the creative economy and what you creatives do is make our life full of color. And so that is what we want to continue to promote. So I have a couple of things to announce in addition to all that Angie has said about 202 Creates. Number one, I want you to stay tuned for an announcement in November where we will relaunch in a hip, funky, eaten kind of way the Mayor's Arts Awards. So I hope that you will be with me for that. And I also have asked Angie to help us focus from the mayor's office on how we make sure that every agency in our government, all of the institutions that support us, like the Kennedy Center, like the Smithsonian, like all of our theaters and hotels that have created these wonderful spaces, that they are supporting everything that we do. So now, we are going to have a Office of Creative Affairs, and I look forward to telling you more about that and how that office will make sure that your work, your ideas, your vision is all integrated in all of our agencies and the things that we do. Now, I'm done talking because I hear there are all kinds of arts installations. There's going to be go-go from one of my favorite bands, Black Alley, a little bit later tonight. If you love Black Alley, you're going to stay right here. And then I think there's going to be some happy hour, some discussion, some networking, and you getting to know each other and all of us. God bless you all, and we love our creation.